Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Your Average Outdoorsman. So today, a little late in the day, I'm heading out to the Snapping Turtle spot. I was there yesterday, and I saw that big guy I caught last year. The one that I believe to be like 60 pounds or something. Good. Big Snapping Turtle, we're gonna check the spot. We got my waders, got the camera, and we're gonna see if we can find this guy, so yeah. I got him. And it's the same guy from last year, I think. Look at that carapace. Carapace, top of the shell, by the way. Dude, this guy's massive. He's big, he's fighting. He's fighting. I'm just gonna bring him to shore. Maybe get some pictures. Tearing me up. Oh. I have to stop recording this for a minute so I can bring him to shore. Oh. I can't even pick him up, he's so heavy. You guys gotta get a good look at this guy. Oh, oh man. last year this has to be like 60 pounds oh. look at that get him to shore for some good shots oh. he's strong nope. Nope. he's angry he's probably one of the strongest turtles I've ever handled let me get him up to the camera again for you guys Jake. Oh, look at that. Look how cool that is. He's a monster. He's a prehistoric beast. Alright. We're going to get him to shore and we'll put him back in the water and get some shots up there. So, see you guys in a bit. We just got, oh, just tripped on rocks. We just got him to shore. You guys have to see how big this is. I gotta get the, the better camera out. But just take a look. This absolute legend of the turtle. Look at this thing. This thing is absolutely Thank <laughs> you. 
snapping turtle, the largest turtle species, largest freshwater turtle species here in New Jersey. And it's just a beautiful prehistoric looking animal. These guys are super predators. I don't know, I think I caught it on the GoPro, him biting. It's not only a powerful bite, but it's a fast bite. They can really whip their necks out really fast to get a powerful bite in, which can leave a lot of damage, can kill some of the fish in here. There's a bunch of carp swimming around that he's probably going after. Powerful bite. He also has, and last time I caught a snapping turtle, had this problem. He has insanely sharp claws. You, I don't know if you guys can see him. I'll try getting some close-up shots from the back, of course. Don't really want to get too close up there in the head. But those claws are made for tearing prey apart because once they have a hold of it, they don't have teeth, they don't really chew it, so they use their claws to tear apart bits of fish and whatever they're eating, tear it all apart so it's small enough size to swallow. The claws also help them dig around in this muddy environment. During winter, these guys hibernate underground, so they gotta dig into the mud so they can bury themselves in. They'll also do that in the summer. In this spot, usually in August, we have droughts every once in a while, so during the drought, he'll dig himself a hole, and just hang out in there until we get the next rainstorm where he can go out and hunt. I'm pretty sure this guy's a male. I haven't really checked because he's really heavy, but crazy size. He's got a little hunchback thing. I remember, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but he just hissed. It's mad. We'll get him back in the water soon. I wanna talk about him a bit more. When Connor and I first saw this guy back last year, Around this time last year, we thought it was an alligator snapping turtle just because of how big he was, the way his shell is. This is a beautiful specimen for a common snapping turtle. I think he might have a, not a problem, but it's like a pig nose, sort of. Maybe got in a fight with another snapping turtle. These guys are aggressive. They can be territorial. I've never seen it, but apparently they do get into fights, which would be pretty crazy to see. I can't believe I actually caught this guy. Just I saw him yesterday in the mud digging around, so I decided to film him with the long lens. And I decided to come out today, maybe to see him, maybe catch a carp or something. But I saw him in shallow enough water, and I grabbed him. And man, it was crazy. And just like last year, he put up a real big fight. Just a beautiful, beautiful animal. I feel like a lot of people ask this question, a lot of people have personally asked me this question, and that is how to pick up a snapping turtle, or how to hold one of these ones. It's a lot easier with things like painted turtles, where you can hold them kind of like a cheeseburger, but these guys, they're big, they have claws, strong tail, and of course, snapping jaws, so in order to pick these guys up, you're going to have to go by the back of the shell, which, as you can see, makes them a little mad, so just going to do it pretty carefully. Depending on how big the turtle is, you gotta be strong. And don't be intimidated. Right around the back part of the shell, his neck may be long, but it can't reach back here. So as long as you keep your hands back here, you won't get bit. You might get tore up by the claws, but you won't get bit. So let's say hypothetically you see this guy in the middle of the road, maybe not a highway, but some sort of road. You stop, pull over, and you wanna help him get across quicker so he doesn't get hit by a car. You basically just want to grab the back of the shell like this and just kind of pick him up and then carry him to wherever you want him to go. Just put him back down like this and walk away. He may look slow, but that neck can come out pretty fast. I don't know how fast, but fast enough where if you're not paying attention, you might lose a finger or something. It's dangerous animals, but if you know what you're doing, you should be safe. Man, a beautiful guy. Right. Gonna get some more shots of him and then we'll do a release. Look at the 
size of that turtle. That's a massive beast, all right. I think we're gonna be putting him back in the water, so let's go. So that was the video. That was big turtle catch that I was hoping to get this year. Same guy I got last year and it was just as exciting as it was, even more so. Got some really great footage, some epic release footage of it underwater swimming away. That was pretty awesome. Real great. It's always nice to come out here and catch turtles, especially big monsters like that. Legendary sized turtles. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time.